This video covers the basics of publishing medical journal articles. Publishing enhances your resume, which increases your likelihood for job promotion. Almost anything can be published, including images, videos, letters, commentaries, reports about a specific patient, called a case report, research articles, and review articles. When considering where to publish, there is one important threshold to reach, is the journal indexed by PubMed. PubMed is the U.S. government's database of medical literature. Most medical professionals consider PubMed to be the go-to website for scholarly articles. So when you are being evaluated for a new job, your employer will go to PubMed to determine your publication history. All other articles will be invisible. It is important to distinguish PubMed from PubMed Central. PubMed articles meet the U.S. government's quality standards. However, they may not be free to access. In contrast, PubMed Central articles are freely available but may not meet the high quality standards of PubMed. So let's say you want to publish an article about transfusion. How would you know what journal to submit to? First, you could search PubMed for the word transfusion and see what journals recently published such articles. Alternatively, you could search the National Library of Medicine catalog, or NLM. The NLM is also part of the PubMed database. The NLM is about journals, not articles. So when you search the NLM for transfusion, most of the journal results will include transfusion in the title. In other words, the NLM search gives very focused journal results, while the PubMed results are much broader. You should compile a list of possible journals to submit to. Then you can evaluate each journal. If you are new to publishing, pick journals with a low impact factor, try two or less. Then see if the journals will allow the article type that you want to publish. For example, some journals don't allow case reports. Finally, make sure it is free to publish in the journal. If all three criteria are met, low impact factor, allowing your article type, and not charging fees, you have a good choice. In order to get the most up-to-date author guidelines, you will need to register on the journal's article submission website. This is important because journals are always changing which article types they allow and the word limits for each type. The instructions on the website are usually old and not up to date, so make sure to log in to the website to get the newest version. Journals typically ask for a cover letter which briefly describes why the article should be published. A title page is information about the authors. The article and references are, of course, self-explanatory. Here is the information that usually needs to be included on the title page. This includes a short version of the title, known as a running title. In addition, keywords are included to help readers find your article. You must state if your article received funding and confirm that you have not submitted the article to another journal at the same time. And here is how a research article is usually structured. The time that it takes to submit an article for review is much longer than you would expect. Just coming up with an idea to pursue can take months of planning and a literature review to ensure that no one has written such an article previously. Even submitting your work on the journal's online website can take multiple days. When you submit an article, it goes to an administrator who you can communicate with. Then it goes to an editor who chooses reviewers to evaluate the article. The process is usually blinded so that the reviewers are not told who the author is. Then the reviewers send their feedback to the editor, and the editor makes a decision to accept or reject. There are strategies to increase your chance of getting an acceptance. Your cover letter is a tool that is often underutilized. Here you can say things that you cannot say in your actual article. Another strategy that experienced authors use is recommending specific reviewers who are their friends or collaborators. This is also why national conferences are important. You can gain friends and colleagues at these meetings and then recommend them as reviewers. While these tactics are ethically questionable, they are ingrained in the culture of publishing. When you are older, you can become an editor for the journal and it will be much easier to publish in that specific journal. While these tactics may sound like cheating, those who use them are more successful than those who do not. Of note, similar tactics are used when trying to get research grants, but that is another story. Decisions on the manuscript include an acceptance, a request for revisions, or a rejection. Importantly, your article may need to undergo multiple rounds of revision. 
Publishing is a sad and frustrating experience. Unfair reviews are normal, so don't get discouraged when you get a bad review. Also, understand that reviews can take three months or longer, so this is a long process. After you get an acceptance, you typically transfer the copyright to the journal. The proofers will then review your article for spelling and grammatical changes. Then you receive a proof with the suggested changes, and you write your responses. Your article will first be put online as an article in press. Make sure it is correct before it is officially published. This final check is not required, but it is good to do. Remember, you are responsible for the accuracy of the article. If it is incorrect, then an erratum may need to be published or sometimes a retraction. Getting your article cited by other articles is like icing on the cake. There are many techniques to do this. The title itself is important for getting attention. Also, keywords can make your article easier to find. However, the most successful technique to get more citations is to publish in an open access format. There are two publishing models. In a subscription model, readers must have a subscription to read the article. In an open access model, a subscription is not needed. Because of this, more people can read and cite open access articles. Thus, when a journal offers both publishing models, some researchers will choose to pay for the open access. However, open access does not necessarily mean paying extra. Some journals offer free open access. This is a strategic decision made by the journal to increase the journal's impact factor. Here is some related information. Elsevier, Wiley, and Springer are big publishers of medical literature. To me, the biggest distinguisher of these companies are the extra features that they offer, like article metrics. Article metrics most often include the number of citations an article gets. Newer metrics include how many times an article was downloaded, shared on Twitter, mentioned in the news, and so forth. Such data is accessible through PlumX, Altmetric, and ResearchGate. So Elsevier offers PlumX and Mendeley stats, while Wiley offers Altmetric stats. I should also mention that you need to avoid publishing trouble. Don't plagiarize and don't self-plagiarize, which is also considered misconduct. Remember, when you publish, you transfer the copyright to a company. So if you were to copy what you said in that article into a new article that goes to a new publishing company, you can get into big trouble. In addition, you can't submit the same article for peer review to multiple journals at the same time. This is called duplicate publishing and you can get in trouble. When this happens, the article can be retracted. Lastly, understand that publishing is a business. Thus, there are some journals which just want to make money. As long as you're willing to pay a lot of money, they will publish your article. These are known as predatory journals, and PubMed tries not to index them. In summary, publishing from start to finish takes one year or more. Expect mistakes to be made. Expect the process to be upsetting, especially when you get a rejection for a bogus reason. However, you should always remember that publishing enables you to get promoted in the field of medicine. So, that is Publishing Medical Literature in 2018. Thanks for watching.